do you have an ex drama too though? Like <clears throat> my ex just threw water at me, bro. Like for no reason. Yeah, I, I really weird as fuck. Like why the fuck is she throwing water on you? Exactly. The fuck? Like, is she the one in the wrong? Like, make it make sense. I don't like that shit. We can, like, like we can dead ass fight. Like, I don't give a fuck. Like, you want to throw water on a nigga? Okay, bitch, let's fight. What the fuck is you talking about? You a whole female. You can't do shit, but I can. What? Hey, bro, before this video starts, man, I have to give y'all the rundown on this situation. For the people, you know what I'm saying, that are new, that don't really know what the hell going on, I don't want y'all confused. But if you know what the hell going on, man, skip to this timestamp right here, bro. But peep this, y'all. So as y'all know from the first video, my homeboy keep put me on a blind date with my toxic ex. And it's awesome shit like, I mean, he only did that because I told him to make amends with his toxic ex and to squash beef with her because life is too short to be beefing with people. So he decided to give me my own advice and tell me to get right with Paris. Long story short, I decided to squash beef with her because, you know what I'm saying, it's only right. Only thing is, Red was pretty mad that she had threw water on me in that video on some shit. So, you know what I'm saying? Now she kind of wants to fight Paris. So, right here is Paris's response. And on top of that, this is our sit-down video of squashing the beef. Watch this video, man. Make sure y'all like the video, man. Stay tuned. This shit is a banger, man. No cap. What's happening, Gigi? Feel the band over with bands. Get a little bro, then i Hey. Bro, I'm doing? mad as fuck. Why you mad? I'm mad. Drive. Don't tell me to fucking drive, nigga. Drive. Why would you do that? Don't tell I'm me to drive. I'm not even in no plane with you. <laughs> I'm not playing with you either. Don't talk to me like that. Because if I flew out the window, it would be your ass. And you think something funny. You finna get your ass beat. Nobody, you remember, you remember the time I put my hands on you while you was driving? Thought I wasn't about shit. Yeah, you got your ass beat right after. No, that I shit. did not. In both ways. We done. We. Bye. Anyways, I'm mad as fuck. Whoever right. you filming with, I don't. I don't even know the girl, but she feel the need to oh sit up here and talk about oh I want to fight her because she threw water on you. I don't even know that girl. Why is she talking about me? Why is she talking about me? That shit was like a couple of days gone. Man. Who cares? <laughs> She's talking shit. Wait, 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 So you telling me she talking shit about you? Nigga, you were in the video. Stop trying to act all corny and surprised. Like, what are you talking about? Calm down, bro. Calm down. No, First I'm not off, calm. she's only she only said that because you threw water on me. I brought up the fact. What does that, that have water. to do with you? What does that have to do with her? She's not your girlfriend. I mean, you're right. She's not my girlfriend, but I mean, she if she, that's how she feel, that's how she feel. I can't control her. I didn't she say need that. to mind her damn business. I don't got nothing to do with her. How do you feel about it? That's the question. What are you gonna do about it? Okay, so. And you seen? Nah, I'm getting out because now, you, now you seen here trying me. Like I'm not trying. No, I'm not here. trying you. It's you like, are, are you gonna fight her? Yes, gonna fight? yes, I am. Yes, I am. Talking about what you gonna do about it. You know what the fuck I do. You know how I get down, so please. Okay. You know how I get down. Where? Where are we going? Is is this park closed? Yes. Where are we going? Uh, we can go to this parking lot over here. Oh. I mean, yeah, that's cool, bro. But honestly, you know why I came in here. I didn't. Come I here. don't know why you. I didn't. You I didn't come here, here to rally you up no, any more than I. No, you came here instigating. So what are you? I didn't for? come here instigating. You the one who was mad about the situation. I'm trying to clear up the shit so it's not a big issue. Like I don't want y'all to fight. That's not my intentions but of coming here. But you're instigating. Talk about what you gonna do. Um. Wow. She said that like trying to play. I didn't stupid. feel because you you came in here doing a lot of talking like about the shit and I was like if you gonna fight her you gonna fight her on some shit like I don't want y'all to fight. But you just came in here like, she said this and that. Like, just say you want to fight the girl and leave it as that. Like, I didn't say it. Shut up, because now you're going to make me mad. You're supposed to be on my side. 
Nigga, I ain't gonna be on your side, nigga. Why would I be on your side? Me and you aren't even on good terms. I came here to squash the shit that we had going on. Okay, but we didn't come here to talk about all that other red shit, you know, the fighting situation that y'all got going on. We came here for what? To We came here to squash the beef, bro. Um, and I feel like once we do that, bro, we can move as people. Do that make sense? Do that, do that really make sense? I've been moving as people, honey. I've been moving. I'm not playing with you. Yes, you are. Oh, my. Yes, you are. I'm ask you this. Um, first question that they had asked me to ask you is, do you still have feelings for me? No. The Paris... This ain't a heartbreak hotel, baby. I move. Did I have you fucked up or did you have me fucked up? You had me Why fucked up. Why did you up? come to my house, Paris? What do you mean? Why did you pull up to my spot? Because you stopped responding. And I did what any bitch in my situation would have did. That's what any bitch in your situation would have yes. did? Yes. I don't think so. I yes. feel like what you did was way out of proportion. You violated my privacy. Well, not thought. You violated my privacy. You came to my spot without any reason, without letting me know. Nobody told you you could come there, bro. So it's like, what the fuck? That was fucked up. Was it not? No. It was very, very, very fucked up. Here. No matter. You weren't responding. That nigga was literally knocked out sleep. He just opened the door for whoever he need. Look through the people. Open the door. He was knocked out sleep when you knocked on the door, banging on my damn door and shit. He opened the door because he was knocked out, not even knowing who the hell at the door. Just so he just opens shit. doors for strangers now? Nigga, we in an apartment. Who finna just find their way up to the floor for no reason? So we just open doors for strangers now? Nigga, he didn't know who it was. He expected so it to be me. So we just open doors for strangers now? Did I open the door or did he open so the door? So we just door? Did, doors did I for open the door or did he open the so are door. we just letting strangers in our house? Okay, are you a stranger? Sense. Are you a stranger? No, exactly. you're not a damn stranger. Exactly, I'm not a stranger. Real quick, real quick. Keep your hands out of my face. Keep your hands out of my face. Hey, bro. Keep your hands out of my just face. Just stop touching me. Just stop touching me. Keep just stop your touching. hands just out of my touching. face. Just stop touching me. Keep your hands out of my face. He has all rights to open the door. You should have known better. Fuck y'all. Fuck y'all. Fuck You should have known better than to come to my spot. Fuck y'all. Nobody invited you over there. Y'all look, bro, I'm back at the spot right now, but it's like, it's at a point where it's like, I can't force her. I'm, I'm not going to force Paris to end problems. Um, if, if she don't want to, I'm not going to force her to. It's not even, it's not even worth my time to. What am I forcing her to end problems with me for? She's the one who came to Miami to end problems with me at first. You feel what I'm saying? I didn't even care to. This was what she wanted to do. But if she can't have a conversation with me and we squash things as grown ass adults, then I don't know what to do, y'all. You feel me? Um, I'm back at the spot right now. And one thing I'm going to say is I'm not going to hit Paris up. If she want to end this shit, she got to hit me up. You feel what I'm saying? Um, I, I don't know if this is going to wrap up the video or not. So I'm going to keep y'all posted if she says something. Love y'all though, gang. Stay safe, man. I mean, bro, she just said, call me, bro. I text her, I said, baby, nah, you call me, bro. I'm not for to call you. So, shit. Yeah. Hello. Yo. Bro, why did you have to do all that in the car, bro? Why couldn't we just figure out the situation, squash the beef, and let bygones be bygones? Why are you trying to extend this situation? Oh, well, I was trying to, but you didn't want to let nobody talk. You like to speak over me, and I'm not going to let you do that. Like, no, this is a conversation. As you can see in the video, or not even in the video, in the conversation, I was talking, you were talking over me. You were the one that knew that you weren't supposed to be what? there. You were the one that knew you were not supposed to be there. You weren't sub supposed to come to my room no matter what. I mean, my house no matter what without my permission on some shit. That's just not right. So it doesn't matter if he opened the door because you know that you're not supposed to be here. I didn't know nothing, actually. Okay, okay. See, this is why we don't get nowhere, bro, because I feel like you don't just try to understand the fact that sometimes, okay, you're wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes you're wrong with situations.
I feel like I'm entitled to view whatever my actions were as whatever I feel like they were. I can I'm one to always admit when I'm wrong. When I whenever I feel like I'm wrong and when I can accept that I'm wrong, I'll always say that. Do I not? Do I be like, Oh yeah, I'm I'm sorry. Do I not say that? Whenever we have arguments, do I not always be like, I'm sorry, I won't do it again? Or you know, I can always admit when I'm wrong. But I did not feel like I was wrong in this situation, so that's why I didn't say I was wrong. So you don't see any wrong in coming to somebody's house without them knowing well, you're not somebody. and waiting for them. You're not somebody. I am somebody. What am you're I, not nobody? somebody. You were my boyfriend. We weren't together. And why are you trying to argue over this? Like, dude, we're supposed to be letting by gods be by gods. Okay, it's not happened? an argument. It was a question, but it was just like, okay, I just wanted you to accept the fact that, okay, maybe... What you did was out of proportion, at least. But you saying everything was right. But I mean, look, you and Todd to feel how you want to feel. Right. Are we gonna Are we gonna wrap this shit up, bro, or not? We are. But I I didn't say it was wrong or right. I just acted however I felt like was right to do, or you know, however I wanted to do in the moment. And girls pop up all the time. This is not something out of pocket or just unheard of. Like, <laughs> okay, Perry. it's not like I broke into your apartment, unlocked doors and shit. That's okay, crazy Perry. shit. Okay, a nigga opened the door for me. Okay, Paris. Um, what are we gonna do, bro? Are we gonna finish this conversation? What, 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 what's up? I mean, yeah. I'm gonna be at Georgia State. You gonna be at the state? Yeah. All right, bro. Um, I'll, I'm gonna meet you at the racetrack. Okay. What time? I don't know. I'm gonna text you. Oh my god, bro. We finna try to squash this shit tonight, though, y'all. Y'all stay tuned. All right, y'all, man. Um, I think we see the demon here, man. Here is the demon that y'all have all been waiting for. Now on to me and you, bro. Fuck, fuck all that other shit. Me and you are gonna handle what we got going on, okay? You came in here to squash stuff with me. We gonna save the other conversation for another time. Hey, we here to squash the beef, right? Beef first off, squashed. bro. First off, okay. Beef, beef is squashed, but we need to have an understanding on how we feel about each other, okay? I feel like that's the first step before we can move forward, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, honestly, I just want you to express to me how you feel about me going forward right now. How do you feel about me? You a cool person, Jalen. Like, I don't have no, like, bitterness towards you, but it's like, I wouldn't mind being cool with you, you know? Paris, I don't really have any animosity towards anybody all this toxic internet shit that we have going on doesn't need to continue we we were supposed we wanted i wanted to leave that shit back when when we did it i never wanted it to happen anyways and the same way i fell out with i don't even want to say her name but summer when she brought that shit to the internet i personally felt like we could have handled that shit off the internet okay right. we gotta handle that shit off the internet right so it's like now we're at a point where we got all of this drama and people worried about what we got going on and bashing each other that should have never happened and this this finna stop today this is the last time you know what i'm saying this will ever happen between us okay mm -hmm. that's how i feel and that's what i want to continue to do as people you feel me Have you moved on already? What does move on mean? Have you started talking to other guys since that month? Oh, no. Be honest, Paris. No, I haven't. Be completely honest. I haven't. Have you? Be, actually, be, be completely honest. I haven't. Be, be completely, completely honest. Niggas be talking to me. <laughs> I don't be talking to them, though. <laughs> well, is that it, bro?
Honestly, is that all you want to say? There was something else I wanted to really say, but I don't really think it's that important, honestly. I mean, we here now, you might as well say it. I just feel like I feel like we should have never mind. Just say it, bro. I, I wish we could have ended differently. I wish things didn't have to happen the way they did, you know? What you mean by that? I mean, what I said, like, I wish we could have ended off differently. Like, we... Like, how how would you have wanted it to end? I don't know. I'm just talking. Say how you feel, bro. Like, don't hold shit back. This is probably, you know what I'm saying, the only time we're going to have to really do this, bro. Don't hold nothing back. Keep it above. I feel, I feel like I still would have wanted to be with you. Honestly, Paris. I mean, there's nothing we can do about it now. Every night, I think about you. What? I still think about you every night. Bye bye. I was in love with you. Bye. And I still am. Bye. I don't believe it. I really don't. I want you back, Paris. I don't believe that. Sometimes you gotta set your pride aside for the people you love. Didn't I tell you that like a long time ago? You got that from me. And I truly believe it. Do you wanna be with me again? What about your new girl? Fuck her. I can't take you serious. I can't. I don't think you being for real. I think you playing. How do you feel about me, bro? I just told you how I felt. You still want to be with me? I, I don't have to post it. this video, bro. I don't have to post this video. I wouldn't mind it. I don't got to let nobody know about what we got going on. I wouldn't mind see. it. Look at me. Keep it real. Like, you don't gotta play that hard act. I know you. In and out, I know you. Come here. You still love me. This is a little too corny. You still love me. Yeah. Come on, bro. Tell me the truth. Why are you smiling? not playing with you because you're playing you're playing in my face <laughs> i knew you were playing i knew you were and i was playing too i was just entertaining your ass Let's wrap up this conversation, Paris. Let's be for real now. Real talk. We cool? We good? We good. Bye, Jalen. Bye, Paris. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. Um, I only did it like that because I was still a little salty about that water shit. She didn't have to do that. I'm a petty nigga, not gonna cap to you. Um, I know a lot of niggas probably clicked off thinking I'm a simp. I'm not really a simp. I don't, I don't move like that. I really just wanted things, you know what I'm saying? To end off on good times. I don't think she's mad for real. Parents don't be taking that shit like that deep for real. So we straight. But peep this, y'all. 
15,000 likes. And I'll do one last prank on Paris. I'm not going to tell her what it is or when it is. But I think I should remove her off of my channel with one last big prank.